Okay, question three. So, some street lamps contain sodium. Figure five shows two isotopes of sodium. Okay, I step one, I step two. What are isotopes? Okay, so an isotope is something that has um, an element, no, an atom. Uh, I don't need capital. An atom with the same number of protons, but a different number of neutrons, neutrons. Okay, so how many protons and neutrons are in the nucleus of this sodium um, atom? So basically, 23 tells me, so it's like the number of boys and girls in the classroom, and 11 tells me the number of boys. So you have to do uh, some jiggling around. So the bottom number is the number of protons. And this is the total number of nucleons in general. Cleons. Okay. So the number of protons is 11, which tells the element how to be the element it is, I suppose, chemically anyway. Uh, and then the number of things left over, so 23 minus 11 is 12. Okay, 23 minus 11 is definitely 12. Yep, so that looks correct. The sodium atom emits light. What would cause light to be emitted from a sodium atom? Electrons being emitted from the nucleus. Okay, this does actually happen. It's called beta decay. Is it going to happen in this case? I'm not sure. Electrons fall into a lower energy level. Having done the A-level, this seems like it's the right answer. Electrons leaving the atom when ionized. Electrons moving to a higher energy level. It's electrons dropping to a lower energy level. Okay. Hmm. Now, I'm not entirely sure where on the spec they're testing this from. Um, hmm. Maybe it's covered in the chemistry a bit as well. But, um, essentially, when you heat up an atom... Uh, electrons get excited and they can move up the shells um, in the uh, the electron shells, the orbitals, and then as they calm back down again, they don't have feelings, but as they um, become de-excited, they drop back down again, they emit quantitized little chunks of energy in the form of photons or light. So uh, something that we're going to have to look at, I think, um, covering maybe. Right. In a street lamp, so um, solid sodium is melted and vaporized. Describe how the arrangement of sodium atoms changes as sodium goes from solid to liquid to gas. Right, so this is basic key stage three stuff, okay? In a solid, atoms are packed closely together. Okay, why is that coming up? When you become a liquid, when the thing becomes a liquid, the... Um, Atoms are still close together, no regular arrangement, and they can swap places. And finally, in a gas, they are moving around freely, randomly. Okay, so those are the points you need to make. Okay, um, key points to, to, to notice is so going from solid to a liquid, solid to a liquid to a gas. This transition is called, solid to liquid is called melting. This transition is called boiling or evaporation. Okay. Um, I'm not going to actually type this out. We'll check the mark scheme and look for the marking points. But basically, um, you go from a tight, regular arrangement to a irregular arrangement where... Particles can swap places, but they're still tightly packed together, to an arrangement where the particles are spaced far apart and moving around randomly swapping places. So that's going from solid, liquid to gas, going through the changes of melting and boiling. Okay, table two shows the power rating of some types of sodium lamp. So A to E, and they just get larger and larger power ratings. Some main roads are lit by type E sodium lamps. Calculate the energy transferred by one type E sodium lamp in one hour. Okay, you're not given an equation here, but you're told power in watts, and I know 
or I have always talked about it like this, watts is the same as joules every second. So if you're using type E, if you're using type E, you're using 150 joules every second. So power is equal to energy used divided by time or energy transferred divided by the time. Um, if you want to work out the energy, well, you could do one of two things. You can either multiply both sides by time, cancelling the time on this side, or you could take the equation that you've remembered, power equals energy divided by time, and stick it into a formula triangle. The E is, divide, is on top of division, so it goes on top, and P and T will be on the bottom because that's not the one on top, I suppose. So uh, if you want to calculate the energy, you cover energy and you're left with power times time, or you do it this way. So the energy will be equal to the power, 150 watts, times the time, one hour. Uh -uh. It's not one hour, because that's in hours. We need to convert one hour in, into seconds. Right, well, there's 60 seconds in every minute, and there are 60 minutes in one hour. So it's 60 lots of 60. So one hour equals 60 times 60 seconds, right? So that's the conversion. Each hour is equal to, I actually know this off the top of my head, 3600 seconds, right? Okay, so 150 times 3600. 150 times 3600 gives me this very large value. So uh, I could write it out as well, I better actually leave it as it is. It's actually 540 kilojoules, but they've given me the units and it's in joules, so I'll stick with joules. Right, many housing estates are lit by type A sodium lamps. So just two advantages of using type A sodium lamps on housing estates. Well, I'm gonna say consume less energy. Right, because I can see that from the information they've given me. Um, another advantage Well, I actually don't think, unless you know something else about sodium lamps, they give out a weird orange light, so they consume less energy. I suppose then, as a result, they uh, consume less energy, so they can have less environmental, less environmental impact. So less CO2 produced as a result. So consume less energy, so it's going to cost less. That's an advantage. And they produce less CO2 as a result, so less global warming. Okay. So you've got two clear advantages there. Right, let's check the Mart scheme. Mm -hmm, so... 3.1, atoms with the same number of protons but different number of neutrons. 11 and 12, good. Electrons falling to a lower energy level, yes. Atoms are closely packed. Atoms in a regular arrangement for a solid. Vibrate about a fixed position. I don't think I mentioned that, but it's true. So this is just very basic um, key stage 3 stuff. 540,000 joules. Less energy is transferred, not as bright. Hmm. I kind of find that a bit odd that that's an advantage, not as bright. A bit of an ambiguous question, but then again, it is a specimen paper. Right, I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, and share.